All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to game V2. In the last episode, we did the Pokemon section and then we tried to do the portal section, but it, it wasn't really playable. I was getting like one FPS. It wasn't doable at all. I just tried it again right then before I started recording. It still, it doesn't work. So hopefully this next section does work. Now, what I'm thinking it is from the preview, I saw Liontac say, this may be Wreck-It Ralph, which is a pretty good guess, but I think it's Pac-Man, right? The black, uh, I, I, I guess, majority with the blue lines. Black background with the blue lines. Oh, it's just retro in general. Pac-Man was right, though. A lot of Pac-Man, but it's just retro. Is this? Oh, it's five different levels in this one level. That's really cool, actually. So we've got Space Invaders. We've got Donkey Kong. Pretty cool. We've got Out of Order. I guess four levels and then maybe one final one. All right, we can do that. Tetris. Very cool. And Pac-Man, of course. Uh, Tetris is going to be fun. I actually really like Tetris as a game. I'm going to start with this one and work my way around, I guess. So, Space Invaders, let's go. Oh, just like a while to teleport. What is this? Stemmers has reached the goal. Sky's the limit. You've been equipped with the most modern flight technology. Uh, we have Onward. Is it probably just an Elytra, I'm sure. Onward, Cadet. Sacrifice yours. Um, I mean, serve your galaxy by navigating through this asteroid, uh, asteroid field and infiltrating the mothership. I can do that right after I turn my sounds back on because I forgot I turned them off. I do have an Elytra. Very, very nice. Got my logo on it. I like it. Um, and I'm not allowed to touch the, <laughs> the end rods, I guess. So I think this is just a flight section, right? It's not parkour. It's just... An elytra section. Am I? I think. Am I going down or through here? I think I'm going through. Yeah, I, yeah I'm pretty confident. Oh, I'm supposed to go through the big holes. That makes way more sense, doesn't it? Rather than going through the tiny, tiny holes, it makes yeah, way more sense to do that. Oh, on top, please, or over? Am I supposed to be going over? On top. On top. Okay, that's interesting. Let me down, please. I couldn't fall down through that way. That one, that was weird. Uh, soft destruct button, do not press there, so we have no vehicle insurance. Oh, oh no. We have no idea why this is even here. This one, please don't click this. I mean, everything needs a self destruct button, right? Um, I guess these are the aliens. Sorry, aliens. Uh, I guess you were the ones attacking, right? So, you guys are the space invaders. Uh, sure. Was that it? That was a very, very easy section. I kind of did it first try. I like it. Cool. I like that. That's cool. I like... I always love when it's like small little mini games within the map. Um, I just really like variety and things like that where it's not just parkour or just puzzle. Things like, you know, a light of flying or things like that. Really, really cool. I love it. It's, just, it's a nice little break from everything. And what is this? This looks like actual parkour. There is a checkpoint up there. So yes, this is actual parkour. But Donkey Kong, look at him up there. Uh, It's a little bit of a... A different take on Donkey Kong, I gotta say. It's more of a King Kong, Donkey Kong kind of thing. Just making sure I don't have an elytra anymore. I do not. Um, Yeah, it's like a, a, a mix between Donkey Kong up there and King Kong in the city, right? Because Donkey Kong game, you're not in a city. You're in... It's kind of like, I don't know what it is, construction or something. It's interesting. I don't know. I don't know where to go either. Anything in the barrels? Nothing in that one, nothing in that one. Yeah, I'm not really too sure where I'm supposed to be going. Is it just... Is it here? And then, oh, maybe down here? This looks kind of right, but I... No, maybe not. Yeah, I, I don't think this is right. I feel like I need to follow the purple a little bit, so maybe if I can get up there somehow, that might be it. Uh, I, I There are ladders over there, so yeah, that does make sense. How do I get to them? There's, they're right there. How do I get to that? I can't tell. Okay, this took way longer than it should have to find, but I go not there. Let's try this again. I go there and then backwards on myself onto the iron bars. And yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but that is where I'm actually supposed to go. I was stuck for a long time trying to find this place, but there we go. It's kind of obvious once you realize the iron bars is taking up quite a lot, and then can make it onto here and climb up the ladders. And hopefully it's going to be a little bit more straightforward from here on, because that... It, it took me way longer than it should have. Oh, I walked over the ladder. I didn't think I could do that. That was, uh... Quite the baboozle. 
to walk straight over that ladder wasn't very good. Let's try it again. If I can make it up there. There we go. Ooh, just about. Alright, so not all of these blocks are barrier blocks. Some of them are air blocks. Really gotta be on the lookout for that. Ooh, don't overshoot. Last ladder. There we go. Uh, I guess onto the purple. Take the easy route by dropping down a little bit. So yeah, I am just following the purple thing. It was just hard to uh, see the little iron bars. And man, that's a big jump. And I died. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I, I kind of want to try this with momentum. So if I jump from up here, maybe I'll land on there near the edge. Oh, not quite. I need to jump a little bit later than that. That's okay. I can do that. Where's the ladder? Right here. I always get lost. But how close is that to the checkpoint? That's up there, is it? Yeah. It's it's pretty close. Okay. Uh, I think this doesn't look too bad. I think maybe we'll we'll see. All right. After doing a couple test jumps, I think I know. I think I know what to do. No, oh, I just jumped straight off. Ah, oh. I tried landing at the very edge of the purple block. Didn't work too well. This is starting to look like another one level per episode kind of thing. Man, that jump is hard. Uh, maybe I just try running and jumping at the very edge of the block because the momentum thing isn't working. I, I, I can't figure out when I need to jump off the barrel or whatever. Uh, I don't know. My voice is also kind of dying, as you probably heard in that last clip. Oh, there's a checkpoint up there as well. Huh. Okay. Oh, another, oh it says save me. I guess that's where the woman is. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, wait. Mm. Yeah, I got. I'm, I, I need to. I need the momentum. I need it. I knew it. I knew as I jumped, it was too early. At least I didn't die this time, though. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Or it, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess. But man, yeah, that's a hard, hard jump. Gonna be here for a very long time, I'm sure. I bet I fall off this barrier block yet again. Oh, I didn't. Okay. At least it's not too bad to get there. Not too bad at all. It only takes a few seconds. That's it. No, it's not. How is that not it? Nothing in the barrel. Can I, do, am I supposed to jump? I have to jump there, right? There's no other way. It has to be that way. I'm just missing, right? Let's, okay, let's just try it again. That was so late. That was the edge of the block. How do I not make this? All right, I think I got it. I think I got the jump down. I've had a couple practice jumps again. I think I know what the trick is to, one, start on the purple block down here, not the barrel, and two, don't hold shift. As I said, the joke, I mean, the, the, uh, the trick is to not hold shift. <sighs> the worst thing is, I said earlier that I, I know how to do it because I did do it, but I, I dropped back down again to do it on camera. So I, I've actually be, I've done this jump, um, and I did it like this. But I I, I want to do it on camera, so I I, I I jumped down. I shouldn't have jumped down. I'll get it this time. This attempt. Are you ready? That's a that's a warm up. What did I say? What did I say? I knew it. Oh, okay. Let's not drop down again this time. What do I do? I, I jumped to that? You're kidding. That's... Oh, no. I don't want to. Can I not just jump to this thing and then... Okay. I think I cheated a little bit there. I don't think I was supposed to jump to that thing, but I'll take it. I'll... I'm happily... I'm, yep, yeah, checkpoint. Thank you. Very, very welcome checkpoint. I'm just going to continue. I, I'll just carry on. Skip that ladder jump. That looked awful. I do not want to do that. Uh Oh, these aren't barrier blocks. They're just... Floating ladders, so hmm, that makes it a little bit more difficult, but shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be as bad as that one over there. That one took way too many attempts. And man, I should have just stayed up there the first time I got it. Anyway, or I should have at least gotten the checkpoint and then went back and cut it on camera right. That would have been smart. I'm not smart. That's all this comes down to. Anyway, this section seems really quite easy. I'm just climbing this tower. That's a villager, not a not a woman. I, in, in, wait, is it, it, it's not Peach in Donkey Kong, is it? And I don't think it's Daisy either. Is it just a random woman? Is it, 
Is it Pauline in Donkey Kong? I don't know. It might be Pauline. I don't actually know. I'm sure she's blonde, but I don't think it's Peach. I'm talking about the original like Donkey Kong game. I don't know. Anyway. The retro arcade game. It's getting night time. I just realized there's a daylight cycle. A night cycle, even. Checkpoint. That was such an easy section. Maybe I was just being bad earlier. Not, like... Realizing it was actually pretty easy to do the jumps. It's just that one jump, I guess. Alright, well. I mean, I I'm happy with this. I'm happy with slightly easy jumps. It's fine by me. Uh, I guess I just keep going. It's a little bit hard to tell which way the ladders are facing, so I don't know if I need to land on the ladders or, you know, on top of the ladders or climb the ladders. It's a little bit uh difficult to see, but that's fine. Ooh. Hello. Hello, Mr. Villager. Oh, or Mrs. Villager, whichever you are, I do not know. Oh, I just go to the door. And that was it. Wow, okay. Man, that one jump, it, it got me hung up for a long time. But after that, it was, it was a breeze. All right, let's move on to the Tetris section. And we'll do the Pac-Man one last. Wow, okay. So, I, I... I'm actually pretty okay at Tetris. It depends on the Tetris. Um the game it depends on the game um and it depends on the control i'm only good with like a <laughs> a like an actual controller um and when i say good i mean average i'm i'm okay with a with an actual controller if i'm trying to use keyboard and mouse or something to play tetris which i know isn't very common but it is possible um i'm terrible so do i just need to restart am i supposed to be climbing i don't know where the end is is, is this is like me falling down here? Have I lost? I think I've lost, right? There's no clear goal, so I can't tell. I think I just restart. Let's do that. <clears throat> Should I just get... Oh, there was a checkpoint up there. So, looks like I'm just getting to the red right there and then jumping up. Maybe I can't really tell. It's difficult. A lot of glass and a lot of 2D-ness. Very difficult to see and tell. Ooh, that is a big jump. Uh, gotta be wary of the head hitters as well. There we go, we made it at that time. Another three across one up. And of course, a fall. This jump is like, I have a choice, right? I could ever do a three across one up from here. Or a four, four across jump from here. I think three across one ups are easier, so let's do that. Then we're gonna do another one. I should really just look ahead and use momentum, but I never do that. Ah, I just realized there's another little glass pane up there. It's glass pane and then that one. Oh, if I fall, I lose a lot of progress. Anyway, let's try doing that. Perfect. Oh, and another one. There's no world where I should have failed that jump, and I don't know what my fingers just did. I don't know. I'm always so much better when I'm not recording. One attempt to get here again. Anyway. There we go. It's not like, you know, the, it's not like it's a different jump every time. It's still always, like, in most jumps that I fail on, three across one up or four across jumps, um, it's not like you get more used to them as you play the same level over and over. It's just, I don't know, you just get better somehow. I don't know what it is. It's like, hmm. Like, I could play a different level where there's a million three across one up jumps in a row, go into another level where there's another one, and fail it. Um, but if I play the next level over and over again, then I can do it, which is weird. I, mm, that, that's a very weird thing. The same jump, but just in a different place, in a different area. Mm, yeah. Alright, I've done enough of these already. There we go. And uh, every jump is a three cross one up, isn't it? Every single, like this one as well. Yep, at this one as well. Can I get a different jump, please? I might... Mm, I don't know if I want to drop down there. I think I have to, though. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Whew. Land on the glass pane. Don't overshoot. Don't undershoot. Another three because one up, but it's fine. If I fall, land on that. Not too bad. And another one. If I fall this time, though, no bueno. So, let's try and use momentum. Nice and easy. There we go. Down onto the orange. And... Oh! We are very... Very close to the checkpoint, and we got it. We finally got a checkpoint. Okay, that's good. 
I, how are we going all the way up to the top? There's no way. There's no way we're going all the way up to the top. Like, it's probably not too difficult, to be honest, because it's, it is, like, just mostly three across one-up jumps over and over again. I just need to do them consistently, which is a little difficult, but very, very possible. Or I could do four across jumps, which I'm definitely not going to do because those are difficult. Especially to do consistently. Consistently. Anyway, I just did like four of them in a row. Or five three across one, three across one up jumps. I need to think of a name for those. Three across one up jumps. It needs to become like a channel, not a meme, but like a channel thing. Because I do so many of them. And I always say three across one up jumps and it's a bad name. Last one, and I fall all the way back down to the checkpoint. That's just unfortunate. I don't know. Anyway, leave in the comments, guys, what I should start calling three cross one up jumps because I say it so often, and it's a it's a mouthful. Three cross one up. It's too much. All right, this is gonna take a while again to get back where I was. Yeah, that's a fail. Almost there again. Uh, it was this, right, yeah, this jump. The very last one is what I failed on, okay. I could do this. You're kidding. The same thing? It's, I do so many jumps. So many three across one up jumps in a row. The last one I failed on twice now. How is that possible? How does that always happen? Ah, oh, it's a curse. There's no possible way I mess this up yet again, right? Okay, yeah. It's just one more, right? One more three cross one up jump. And it's better to just fall to the bottom and get the checkpoint again. Um, it's, yeah, it's just one more. But somehow I, I always mess it up. I don't know how. But at least we did it this time. I have no idea how far through this level we are. We could be halfway. We could be right near the top. I'm never going to know because this is a very confusing level. I don't know how high I need to reach. It's very weird, isn't it? There's a glass block over there. Maybe to that or something. Oh, oh there's another checkpoint. Oh, okay. Probably a really, really long level, isn't it? Probably the whole thing, I'm sure. It's gotta be. I'm sure it is. It's gonna take a very long time. Hope you like 2D things. Oh, we still got another area to do after this, don't we? We have the Pac-Man area. Ooh, okay. I really gotta focus then. I really gotta just finish this. It's just a lot of three cross one up jumps. I can do it. I just gotta get it done. Get it out of the way. Please don't fall now. You know, ugh, that sucks. I have to go back down here. Ugh, before the checkpoint. You know when you jump off a block and you can just tell whether you've made it or not? That one just then earlier, I, I just knew I made it. It was, it was just so nice to jump. Um, and then I fell. Not great. It's just consistency. It's all it is. Ah, oh, man. Consistently falling. I'm starting to forget when I fell last time. Was it here? No, it wasn't here because I, I'm now stuck. It, great. I think last time I fell... Um, on this one, was it? Or the one afterwards? I, I can't remember, but just try continuing like that. Maybe it was this one. I cannot remember. Oh, man, these jumps. Some of them are really quite big. Hmm. Almost at the checkpoint. Do I jump on that blue? I think I do. Bars. Nice. Next checkpoint. All pressure is off. And, oh, a forced four across jump. And we got it first time. I'm sure there's going to be many, many more of those, and I'm not looking forward to that. This is definitely the hardest section so far. Sure, that Donkey Kong jump was difficult, but it wasn't... It was only one jump, right? The rest of them were super easy. But this one, that was so close. I don't know how I made that. But yeah, this level is hard jump after hard jump after hard jump after hard jump. And man, it's stressful. We are very slowly making it, though. Very, very slowly. Oh, block up on my head, okay. No, I was doing so well. That's the first time I failed on that checkpoint. Ah, uh, better to just drop down then. Oh, 
Look at it. There's the end. We're right there. It's right on the other side. This is actually the final final area. I didn't see that earlier. Okay. We are almost there. That four crush jump there. Uh right. Where is it? There. That sucks. And that one. Yeah, that four crush jump and that one. Ugh. Too many of them. I don't like them. Is this? Nope, that's a pretty small one. Okay, we can do this. I'll use a bit, bit of momentum just to be safe. And, okay. We're almost there. We're so, so close. You can see it. Oh, the vehicle's one up. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. Lock above my head yet again. I can do these. Please. Yes, and I think that was actually it. That is it. Okay, now, here's the thing. In the Saints Row section, in the... The first map, the remastered version. Touching one of these command blocks killed you. So, am I going to die here? Please just be the end. I think it's the end. It was the end. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pressure is off. Tetris section is done. It wasn't actually too bad. It was just long. Very long section. Pac-Man, the final one for today. Let's do it. This is going to be like an hour long section, I'm sure. What is this about? Ooh, it looks fun, actually. This one looks cool. I like, oh, I like this one a lot. It'd be kind of cool if he was, you know, getting chased by Armistan's disguised as ghosts. And, like, it, it was, if it was just Pac-Man, you know, if you could uh, collect things and, like, it was more of a mini game rather than just parkour. Like, if you had to park, oh, it's kind of a maze. That's interesting. Um, Yeah, if you had to, like, go around and collect certain things, you had things chasing you. And you could pick up, like, power-ups, so you could make them go away for a while. That'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, a maze of, uh, parkour's fine, too. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Is it to the glass? I can't tell. Or is it just a multi-layered maze? I, I don't know. I guess I'm not going that way. Probably not that way either, but I'll, I'll have a look if I can make the jump. Oh. Okay, it does go around the corner again. I, I I gotta I gotta know. Is this the way? It keeps going, so maybe I might have just stumbled across the the perfect path. Uh, I don't know actually. I, I'm wondering why there's multiple layers. I'm guessing the glass is like an elevator. It'll take me up to the next layer, but I don't know. The jumps to get to those glass glass blocks are pretty difficult. Gotta say, is this the right way? This better be the right way. If I'm doing all this just for the wrong way, I'm going to be upset. Am I back where I was earlier? I, I am. This is... What? Oh, I'm, I'm not happy. Can I make that jump? I think I can. Ooh, just about. Yeah, I... I was right over there. Oh, okay. This is fine. Let's try the glass. Maybe... Oh, it's a beacon. Yeah, that does nothing. That does nothing for me. Maybe because there's not a beacon above it? Above, even? Might be. I don't know. I'm, I'm just parkouring at this point. I don't know where to go. Maybe I'm supposed to get to the bottom. Ah, oh, dead end. I'm probably not supposed to get to the bottom. Ah, oh, I'm dead. What do I do? I don't know. This is just the same, though. Like, it's the same down there as, as it is up here. And the same there. Why is it just the same but three different times? It's got to be something to do with the beacons. It has to be something to do with the beacons. Um, oh man. I don't know how I survived that earlier, by the way. That was interesting. So, there's a beacon right above me when I spawn. But there's got to be a beacon that I need to stand on or something while I'm on this layer. Or not? I don't know what I just... What just that? What? If I go there again, is the same thing gonna happen? It was that way, right? What causes me to teleport? Is there something around... Is there supposed to be like armor stands there or something that I'm not seeing? There's nothing up there. There's nothing there and there's nothing down there. What if I stand in this little edge part? That's a teleport as well. 
there's no particles or anything because my particles are on all. I don't know. Is it just any dead end? I'll just randomly teleport. Uh, I'm gonna try it if I find another one. I guess this one is a dead end, right? Yeah, if I stand on these blocks, is this gonna teleport me? I'm sure it will. It does. Okay, so the thing is, there's three different layers and a lot of dead ends. So... I don't know why there is different layers, actually, because I've not found a way to teleport up or down yet. Um, and if I if I fall onto this next layer, I do die. I don't know how I survived the first time, but every other time I have died, so... I don't know, I'm gonna try this dead end to see if that's good. It's probably not, right? Yeah, just another gun. Oh! Hello, bat. <laughs> Go away, please. Alright, there was, I think, one more round that corner, if I can get back there. It might take a while, but... I think I remember the way... See, I do die. I don't know. I don't know how I survived earlier. Anyway. Try to get back where I was. Um, I, I feel like I tried most of the dead ends by now. At this point, I'm just thinking... The dead end is just... It teleports you to death always, because it's a dead end. And that's where the this ghost will get you. But, yeah, there's one here. Is this right? the right one? Okay. Oh, it was just finding the right dead end. And now that's open. I, I don't get that level. Maybe certain things wasn't there, like an armor stand or articles that were supposed to be there or something. Maybe a command block didn't work. I don't know. Anyway, let's travel down this really long thing. I don't know if this is the end of the map or if there's another level. So I'm just going to run down here and hope it tells me something. Oh, I'm getting nausea. I was wondering why my cursor was swaying like that. It's nausea. Oh, and I'm in the void dying. Oh! I didn't actually think that was the end. That's loud. I, I appreciate I appreciate the fireworks, but it's very, very loud. From the bottom of our hearts, congratulations on beating game V2. And thank you so much for playing. If you want, you can check out our YouTube channel where we upload different kinds of gameplay videos on a daily basis. On a somewhat different note, you can also check out our Patreon where you will see what our next creative project will be. And how much support is in realizing it would mean to us. Click for a link to our Patreon, link to YouTube, Game V2, Twitch channel, and Twitter. Well, that was that. The end. We did it. More fireworks. Hey, very loud fireworks. Anyway. That was that. Unfortunately, again, we didn't get to do the portal section. Would have loved to do that, but that was actually really, really cool. I liked that a lot. The retro section. Very cool. Oh, the hearts. Cute. But yeah, that was Game V2. Very, very fun. And There's music. Very jazzy. I like it. Anyway, if you liked, be sure to like. If you really liked to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and see ya.